What's up guys? So today in this video, I want to give you the introduction to Airtable formulas. Now this is the first video in a playlist that I made where I go in depth on each individual Airtable formula and I'm working on that. I'm building that out, but I think I have around six or seven of them right now. So you can keep watching the other playlist to get in depth on that individual formula but also throw them in the comments on which formulas you wanna see in this playlist and get help on so you can use them more effectively in your business. Now, if you haven't met me before, my name is Ben Green. I'm the owner of Optimize IS and we help business owners, maybe just like you, help them optimize their information systems, implement stuff like Airtable, Asana, Slack, and stuff like that. I know you're here for Airtable, so go ahead and click the subscribe button and hit the like button and keep watching for the Airtable tutorial. So now the basic introduction is we're here in Airtable. We're just gonna insert one to the right here. I'm gonna show you how to create a basic form field. So you basically just come here, click formula, and then you can either put an equal sign like in Excel or you don't have to. There's a few different type of formulas that you can do. So you can reference, just reference fields and say like, if you say you have two number fields, so I don't think I have any number fields in this one, but say I had two number fields, I could just click that one and then like say plus and use like operators like that. Uh, you can also use stuff like sum. So you can use like those type of functions, those text functions as well. And I can't get a better view of these here, but there's, we can go through them here. You can use any of these. And basically what I'm gonna do in these tutorials is the way that I like to use formulas is I'll just click like so for array join. I'll click on the array join formula. And then if you click anywhere in the green letters here to the left, it'll give you this little box over here that gives you all of the operators that you need to know. So you can see all and all of these formulas are gonna be comma separated values. So the first, value comma the second value and it's these are or the first operator comma second operator so you can see here the first operator is the values the second one is the separator so like for values you're going to have something in here that's like comma separated maybe a lookup field probably this like status field if it's looking up off of multiple records and then the separator is going to be like like it says here like this that so that's how i like to do these form these formula tutorials and if you have any questions, just throw them in the comments, or if you have any suggestions on doing these better, throw, also throw them in the comments, but we'll go through all of these. They're all very easy to use, and I hope this can be a really good resource for all of you guys wondering how to use them. My best tip to just get started with these is just start playing around with them, see how you can use them to better illustrate your data in your database, and yeah. I hope that was helpful and keep watching the playlist for more videos. And again, hit like and subscribe if you're here for the Airtable videos.